Now we're talking to Greg in Cardiff because I want him to give me the benefit of his views on Afghanistan. Greg. Listen, all I want to say, George, I, I don't want to uh, make any soldiers irate. I don't want another one of them killed out there on what I, I see... As These a, are just boys. These are boys being sent like lambs to the slaughter, Greg. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And and, and it's it's all shame on the leaders and, and the people above who, who have sent them there. Uh, and I, I want to ask you, George, as a, a, me, a relatively ignorant man, who barely knows what's going on down the road from me here, uh, let alone what's going on in Afghanistan, we, we hear about them fighting the Taliban... Uh, all right, I've seen what the Taliban have done on television, shooting women, women on football fields and all the rest of it. A, a deplorable pile of people, you know? But, uh, and then it's about, oh, we, we mustn't let Al-Qaeda organize over there. Who are they fighting? Why are they fighting? And, uh, and the war has almost been declared lost anyway. Why are we losing lives? Why are we there? Well, first of all, Greg, if any international force should have gone to Afghanistan, if any... It shouldn't have included us, because three times in the 19th century, we sent an entire army to Afghanistan to try and occupy the country and colonize it, and use it as a buffer to protect our other colonies in the region. And we completely, utterly failed. And we left the bones of thousands, I mean really thousands, of our soldiers in Afghanistan three times in the 19th century. We are the former colonial master. We're the last people to be going to a country that we once colonized to tell them that we're trying to build freedom and democracy in their land. Secondly, no foreign army has ever successfully occupied Afghanistan. They just don't like foreign armies in their country. Now, me personally, Greg, I think that's rather an admirable trait. I personally, if I had been alive when Hitler was at the Channel ports, and thank God he didn't, but if he'd succeeded in crossing, there would have been lots of collaborators, yes, but I would not have been one of them. I would be the British equivalent of a Taliban. I would be trying to blow up the German soldiers that were occupying my country. Wouldn't you, Greg? You don't, you Wouldn't don't want you? them occupying your land. No, 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 but no dignified person wants a foreign army, tanks, airplanes, helicopters, soldiers, roaming around their country. And the Afghans are a very dignified people. So you ask who we're fighting, Greg. If it was this, so simple that we only had to fight people with a membership card of the Taliban in their pocket, this war would have been over long ago. We're actually fighting the Afghan people as a whole. Every Afghan. Afghan is a Taliban, in the sense that every Afghan is fighting to get rid of the foreign occupation of their country. Greg, I'm grateful to you.